You're very welcome to the markets field for today's SSC or Tristy Women's Premier Division clash between Trees United and Wexford. But still, so much clash, she's able to retain it and get the pathway to Clancy back to Tuttle over to Orla Conlon. Big ball over the top for Kylie Murphy to run on to, and Anna Rocket's going to need to get her skates on. And that's a really poor goal for Tree to give away. Anna Rocket left it for Anne Iliak, and Iliak left it for Anna Rocket, and it's Keola Bergen who scores against her former club, and it puts Wexford a goal to the good, despite being probably the lesser of the two teams in the opening 11 or 12 minutes. It's Wexford who take the lead here. Street United nil, Wexford 1. That's a really poor goal for Tree United to concede, and they're on the back foot here. Katie Lawley picks it up in the middle of the park. Ayaki K is offering an option out left. It's got Daniel Steer looking for it. Goes back to Lawley. But she have a pop from distance? She does. It's spilled by Mern. Is it still in play? And it's a penalty for Treaty United. Jane Mern, a bad mistake on her part. She spills the shot, then bundles over Danielle Steer. And Treaty United have a lifeline. Can they get back into this one and get a leveller? Some of the Treaty United players are taking a minute to applaud one another. It ain't in the net yet. I see, you know, Keith points to the spot. It was probably fair. I could probably see a perspective where it might have been soft. But it's given on this occasion. And for the second night in a row, we have uh, a penalty into the scoreboard end. And it's Danielle Steer to take. Can she make it three goals and three? The former Fenerbahce player. Danielle Steer versus the Irish under-19 reserve goalkeeper Jane Mern. It's a massive moment in this game. Can Treaty United draw level? Eno Keefe looks at both players and blows his whistle. Steer versus Mern. And it's finished! And Treaty United pull one back. It's Treaty United 1, Wexford 1. Danielle Steer scoring from the spot. She wins the penalty. She scores the penalty. And Treaty United are level. Wexford management team instructing their players to get up the pitch there can't be long left now Ross heads it away Gillian two lads to Monte. it's into the centre for Ellen Malloy and no Treaty United player wants to see Ellen Malloy running at them still Malloy can she get the shot off she does and it's a winner for Wexford at the date with 15 seconds remaining in normal time and Wexford have won it heartbreak for Treaty United who deserved the point at the very minimum from this game but Ellen Malloy shows her class and she scores to give Wexford three points. Absolute heartbreak at the market field for Treaty United. But what a game we've been treated to. And for special moments, it takes special players. And Keola Bergen, or, or uh, Ellen Malloy, puts Wexford in front. And it's the last kick of the game. And it's heartbreak for, Wex for Treaty United. It's Treaty United 1, Wexford FC 2. Despite getting back into the game through Danielle Steer, Ellen Malloy wins it at the dead. It's absolute heartbreak, but it's been a cracker of a game. We hope you've enjoyed it. We'll be back here next week with Treaty United entertain Ferns United in the women's FAI, Sports Rec Women's FAI Cup. I hope you've enjoyed today's broadcast. Thank you very much.